Two NASA astronauts woke up this morning back on Earth following an historic mission. Their SpaceX Dragon capsule made the first splashdown by U.S. astronauts in 45 years. As CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman reports, there's concern tonight over how boaters were able to get so close to the capsule. After 64 days in space, astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley reunited with their family Sunday night. To be where we are now, the first crewed flight of uh, Dragon is just unbelievable. Dragon SpaceX, separation confirmed. Their 19-hour journey home began Saturday night, more than 260 miles above South Africa. Crew Dragon's fiery plummet into Earth's atmosphere reached temperatures of around 3,500 degrees, blocking out communications for about six minutes. In mission control, SpaceX founder Elon Musk, front row center, waited anxiously Dragon to hear from the crew. SpaceX. Dragon SpaceX, comm check. Never had you loud and clear. Under four giant parachutes, the capsule descended 15 miles per hour, splashing down in the warm Gulf waters. Splash down. Welcome back to planet Earth, and thanks for flying SpaceX. Thank God. You know, you know I'm not very religious, but I prayed for this one. And you are seeing a few more boats than expected. More than a dozen recreational boaters swarm the capsule, ignoring Coast Guard warnings as crews tried to recover it and the astronauts inside. That was uh, not what we were anticipating. The boats just made a beeline for it. There are things that we're going to look at that we can do better next time for sure. Dragon looked like a giant charred marshmallow as it was hoisted aboard a SpaceX recovery ship. Banken and Hurley were pulled from the hatch. All okay. Now, after nine years of relying on the Russians, America is back in the business of launching and landing astronauts. It took years to get here. We brought the capability back to America, and we came home safely to our families. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta. The last time American astronauts returned to Earth in a water landing was back in 1975.